God, in our tradition, can be one. Do you uh, care about being recorded? Or in our tradition, God can be one in essence and three in hypostasis of persons. So, because you have a multiplicity about you, doesn't negate the fact that you're one. So, in that aspect, I don't think the idea of a trinity and tawhid are necessarily fighting each other. But it's just about. Uh, the idea that both accept the problem of the one and the many. But, but the issue is, uh, even though Christians believe that Jesus, uh, sorry, that God is one. Yes. When you have three persons, doesn't yep. that eliminate the oneness? No, that, that's, that's just the idea of like, for example, like, um, I don't know what your creed offers, right? But for example, there are people who believe that Allah, in some sense, that they can't understand, has two right hands. So, in... in, in Metaphorical. People oh, okay, okay. You think it is, they don't. But, 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 they? Uh, In comparison uh, to the majority of scholars, yeah, who is they? Uh, they, they? They would be like the Ibn Taymiyyahs of, of the world, right? And the. Uh, uh, Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Taymiyyah literally means that Allah has two right hands? No, it doesn't mean that. It's a scholar from the medieval period who Ibn talked Taymiyyah about is, it, right? Yeah. And, and he talks about the uh, the anthropomorphisms of Allah and how effectively we are not to, we are to understand that they exist but not know the modality or the way in which they exist. So exactly, he's not saying that, he's, therefore he's not saying that we should all accept 100% that Allah has two right hands. Right, no, no. so he's saying that we should accept it but not, not query literally. into the how. Well, that's not necessarily, I, mean, I don't know, I haven't heard But, but all, all I'm saying is, can you see how, despite him adhering to Tawheed, and the, uh, the um, Atharids of today also adhering to Tawheed, they can understand that in Allah there are things that are more than one. Example, the hands. Whether they be metaphorical yeah, the hands or... Are part of Allah, though, isn't it? So it, it comes it, back to one, doesn't it? It depends how you view it, right? No, it doesn't but depend how you view it. It does depend how you view it. It does. The reason why, because some right Muslims, now you're one, like you're one human being. Yeah, yeah. Your arms are part of you, like. Yeah. Halash, you're one human being. But so some Muslims don't believe Allah has parts. No, that's, that's, a lie, that's, that's a problem. That's true. Uh, the Sufis, for example, and the Shias don't believe that. So what does that so do with Allah not that would be, one, huh? What does that do? A, a, a problem of the one and the many. Allah can be one in one way and many in other ways. No, that's yes. something you made up yourself. It's not, that's not your problem. But God in Christianity is one in one way, essence, our being, and multiple in persons. No, you're, you're the bringing that, a Christian... The moment, on, the moment they have three persons, whereby one of those persons who is 100% God is also praying to the Father at once, that means that there's two distinct beings. Uh, so, no, not beings are persons. Uh, because there's nothing about what you, what you said that necessitates beings, just person. So what you're describing is a matter of the incarnation. So before we talk very briefly about the idea Can of... Can I ask you one question? Uh, one sorry, moment. Sorry, sorry. One moment. Sorry, sorry. Let, let me just answer. I'll come to you. Come. No worries. No worries. Uh, briefly, we talked about the idea of the infinite not becoming finite, but simply just joining on to of a human nature. And we talked about the human nature having certain limitations. Yes, but so, it has more limitations than God as a whole. Yeah, yeah, but, but because of the virtue that it is finance. Can I ask right? you? So as a result, that would allow things like God getting tired, sleeping, or praying to God. That doesn't make sense. It Can does, I? because we're saying that in the, human, in, the, in, in the human nature, he has the limitations of a human being. But, once, but once, isn't Jesus once, in, in, in Christianity the son of God? Give yes, he is. So then he's separate from God then? No, no, only distinct, not separate. Once, no, once, once God becomes 100% human, even if he's or 100% fully, God. we say, because like 100% human doesn't really mean anything. Like, you know, like, once God becomes fully human, yep. that means he is more limited than a God. He's more what, sorry? He's more limited than God. Right. He's human now, he's not even God anymore. Exactly. But, but you know how... Even, even, if, he has, even if he has the powers of God, yep. the fact that I can see him, yep. the, fact that I, the fact that he's praying, the fact he that eats, he's tired, he eats, he eats, he eats, he eats, all, all that good stuff. Yeah. He's, he, that means that he is extremely limited to the point where he's just like his creation, whereby he's not God. Sure. You understand? Well, so, so you can't make the comparison where the human God is the same as God, as in God the Father alone. Because God the Father alone, yeah, he's limited. Me. Right. Yeah, he's limited in the sense that he can't create another god, but here Jesus is limited in the sense that he needs to go to the toilet. Right, but only 
via the human nature, right? Yes, that's, that's a contradiction. So, so if, if not, because if it's a contradiction, what is contradictory or what is against any of the laws of logic about the idea that via the divine nature, God is unlimited, but via the human nature, he's not. Because he has a human nature. That doesn't make but sense. It, it, no, no, I'm well, asking which, a which sense can is ask, it not making? Can, can, you, can you tell I'll me the, the you, sense it's not making? I'll ask you. I'll ask you. Huh? God, is God can be human via the human nature, and God can be divine via the divine nature. So God is a part of his creation. Uh, the, uh, God is a part of his creation. I know God, God cannot being. be human. So he's God he can't. Because uh, yes. So if Jesus died, did that part of God die? No, so Jesus, God doesn't, the, the, the spirit God doesn't God have left. parts, right? But if Jesus died, only the human nature of Jesus dies. So God only dies via the human nature, which is the only thing that can die. So did a part of God die? It, it so wouldn't be a part, is, it would just Christians. be the nature. It wouldn't be a part. So when, when, so so when who do you Jesus put away, to God give, give it to Jesus. It's changeable. When, uh, when, when Jesus was crucified, yep. moments sense. before his death, that yep. was God being crucified. Yes. Because he didn't die yet. Yep. So, okay, so that doesn't make sense because God Why? was close to death. Via the, hu so, do, do you, via like, the human nature. Yes. I understand. So, via the, so, okay, look at it this way. If you have two poles, right, and then you do something to one pole, is that same thing being done to the other pole? You, you drop some coloring. Well, because they're two different poles, but here you're saying that that's one pole. Well, well, well they're, they're, one they're, still the, they're, they're still the same in that they for, for that contain water and they're made of cement. But if you pour some red ink into one pole, does that mean that the other pole changes? No, but you can't okay. compare a pool to God. No, so I'm not comparing a pool to God. Somebody, I am, can I make a statement? Let me make right? a statement. Let me make a statement, please. According to Christianity, tell me if I'm wrong, yeah? Okay. Tell me if I'm wrong. First and foremost, God, the Father, as you say, and the Son are two distinct beings. You're wrong. No, no. Persons. Wait. No, but when. Tell me to tell you no, no, you're wrong. Wait, wrong. Wait, 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 wait. I'm asking a question. You're already let wrong me lie, in, let me in your lie, question. Let me lie, let me lie. What I'm saying is that. Let me lie. What I'm saying is. When God became a human, he was not God anymore. Yes or no? Is he human? That's wrong. So, he, so okay, the Christian, the Christian believe. Yeah. Bro, am I bugging out? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, 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 you're, you're bugging out. You're, you're bugging out because wait, your wait, understanding is wrong. Saying, okay, wait. He's saying. Your understanding is wrong. Saying, so, saying, brother, saying, pause saying, for a second. Wait, pause for a second. No, you don't have to finish. No, because you're already wrong. So you just have to carry on being wrong. Now, brother, brother, I want you to explain Christianity to me. Okay. Okay, what do we finish. mean when we say me that the Word of God became me flesh? What does can that mean? You, you because me, unlikely you, me you don't know. I can tell you what it means the way I told a brother what it means. But do you understand what it means? Brother, look, God and Jesus, one is the Father as you claim and one is the Son. That's the first. In your religion, you believe that God can get tired. Um, he built the world and the universe and all of this stuff. Please, please wait, answer let him. Me please answer him. Let me finish. Please answer him. Apparently, I understand what you're saying. Thank it's you. Wait, wait, wait. It's not. It is. No, no. You have to stay. That means he doesn't understand what you're saying. Because the moment of human nature is with God, that's that's a contradiction because God it's cannot not. be human. So, so there's two natures in Christ. Two. That's wrong. Right? That's and they wrong. are distinct. Yes. There is the human nature and the divine nature. That's the they aren't yeah. mixing, but they are distinct, okay. right? But not separate, right? In the same capacity that, for example, you as a human being are tangible okay. via your flesh, the problem is but intangible via your spiritual soul. Your the two of them can exist simultaneously in you. Wait, the flesh and what you said? So the flesh is tangible, can, you can be touched, yes. but your spirit and your mind and consciousness cannot be touched. But yes. the, the two things exist in you while having two contradictory um, uh, if you amazing, say that. amazing. But they have two different <laughs> modes of being. Amazing, not amazing. Because, they have because, two different modes of being, yeah. but they are still both in you. So you as a human being so are not in the world creation. Huh? Hold on, let me I, I use the terminology. Let me but I don't no, no, What you're describing, yep. a flesh is a part of me. Okay. Let's, say, let's say you have a body, a mind, and a, and a soul. Okay. Yeah, the mind is one third of your body in this analogy. It is, and the body is, uh, sorry, the, one, the mind is one third. The body is one third and the spirit is one third. 
in the Trinity, Jesus is three thirds, the Father is three thirds, and the Holy Spirit is three thirds. So here you're making, you're doing something called partialism. I'm not. In the, you, that's partialism. I never said any of that. I'm so, saying so that's what you're doing, not what I'm that's doing. Exactly. I, I already told because you that there was no part in God. Because, because what you're saying is very similar to that thing. In the but sense I already said about, there's no part in God. In, in the sense that you're taking, but exactly, that's what you're saying, but, that's, but then you proved no, but otherwise. Just no, I gave you an analogy. Prove, yeah? Because if you're talking about my flesh and then my soul, that's two. You mentioned two things. That's not that's 50-50 in a sense. That's no, a it's not. That's basic that's, mass. That's it's, not it's fully. Not. My, that's I'm not fully flesh. flesh. Okay. I'm not fully flesh. And I'm not but you are fully flesh. I'm not fully flesh. What part of you is in flesh? My spirit. Okay. And so According you're to, so you're you're only half a man? Uh, not necessarily half a man. What are you? But half of me is flesh and the other half according to you if we're going by these two. I didn't ever I didn't ever try to mathematically distill what oh, yeah. components of you is, is flesh and what component of you isn't. Right? Well effectively I think that would be wrong. Right? Because as, as your human nature, yes, you are composed of things, but the things that you're composed of aren't divided by percentages. Right? So your, your, your flesh is fully your flesh, and your spirit and soul is fully your spirit and soul. Yes, they are parts of what make you a human being, but you cannot divide them by percentages. Are you not made of part? If, you, if, you're, if, if something is... There's atoms of part. Huh? Atoms of part. If, if, within the whole one. If you. So oh. what percentage of particles make oh. up your eyes, for example? No, no, no. <laughs> so, my, so for example, my eyes make up 2% of my body, for example. Yeah, but how are you calculating this? Because if we calculate and flesh and everything like that, and if we look at the human body, if we look at liver, if we look at that, the liver makes up a small portion of your body. Yeah, but how, how, how are you quantifying by weight, by visually, by size, by height, by depth? See, it, it, it can be all it, of those. It's, it, it, it's nonsensical, I think. Can I ask a question? Then, when then, you pray, who do you pray to? Do you pray to God or do you pray to the sun? Uh, the, the sun and God are, are the same, right? So what so we you, do You is, pray to two. Huh? You don't pray to one. So we, we, we can pray to all three persons. So this is what we do. No, uh, it, it wouldn't be. Came and he changed it. No, that's not accurate at all. That's so that's true. Sh show me, show me, show me anybody apart from Ibn Kathir says that. Anybody. And I'll believe you. This is a historical fact. It's not. Constantine came and he changed it. Show me that anywhere, please. Bring it out. In no world, in no world can God come down, be hung on a cross, humiliated, be tied because he has a human nature. If God has a human nature, he's not God. It's possible because those aren't contradictory. So God, God can have a human nature. Human God. That's yeah. So in, in the person of it's not contradiction. Let me ask you right? one question. Because in Why the does God Christ, need human nature? You have both. Huh? Why does God need human nature? For us, in order to save us, right? Okay, so, so, so God has to die huh? to save us. Huh? God has to die to save us. So is this God simple, right? So then now a lot. Then so God listen, is not all listen, powerful. Listen very carefully. No, it's a Death question. in the human nature has nothing to do with power. Nothing at all. So when it comes God to God has nothing to do with power. Death in a human nature has nothing to do with power. You have to no, but you see. Brother, it don't make sense. in order for it to make sense, you need to listen and guess what I'm saying. I have right? listen. I have, I have okay, brother, you. brother. If I asked you to repeat anything I've said, you'll be able to do it, yes. oh. right? Because you weren't listening. Because you weren't listening, right? So, death in a human nature. In no two minutes. But... I've got. Wait, no worries. Yeah. Wait. I just want to say one more okay. thing. Okay. The, the fact that God is also 100% human or fully human, sure. I should say, sure. that in itself is a very big contradiction because God cannot be like his creation. God cannot come down and die for his creation. You need to explain how and why. Because so, it's God. Well, um, three things, my friend, right? Yeah. So, actually, no, one thing that has three parts. Ooh. Okay, so, so, so basically, um, yeah. when we talk about God, right, we hold that God is a foundation of logic, yeah. right? And God can do all logically possible things. Now, when you talk about like classical logic, for example, right? There's like three main, there's others, but there's three main legs of classical logic, right? There's a law of identity, the law of excluding the middle, and the law of non-contradiction. If you, if you want to prove that the incarnation is illogical, then it has to either fail one or all of those legs. Well, and if you can't prove that, then it's not illogical. Well then, here's the simple thing. We believe God is all-powerful. Him being human means that he is no longer all-powerful. But you also believe, for example, that God has a veil. 
right? You can find this in Sahih Muslim 179a. God has a veil, and if he was to remove the veil, the radiance of his face would burn all of his creation as far as his eyes could see. So there is something that is currently restricting the power of Allah, a veil. So, you know, it, it, it's like, can God have a veil so powerful that it can consume the radiance of his face? Apparently, yes is yes in, in the Islamic context. Perhaps, perhaps you can look at it from a metaphorical perspective, whereby okay. it says that if you try to imagine, if you look at what God looks like, okay. his power will completely, you know what I mean? So it's kind of metaphorical. Really. So the veil is metaphorical. It can be, yes. Okay, so he, he wouldn't literally... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created the powerful. He couldn't be his view of God does not make sense. Forget about the veil. You have to prove it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. By appealing to a logical me, argument. He's telling me. He tells. An all powerful no, no, God no, no, wait, cannot let, be let human not, because there is no one. Well, an all powerful God, God can take us, on Jesus a human nature that is not powerful. Is that is not logical. Because that limits his power. It, it doesn't actually. In no capacity. In no capacity. The, the divine essence stays in divine essence. And simply in creation, something changes. There wasn't yes. Jesus, and now there is Jesus. And so the divine is not changed. Yes, I, I am fully God, but the, the, he's fully, fully God by the divine essence that's not unchanging. Why and fully does human Jesus by the human have essence. to die that for is changing. That's all I want oh, to ask. Easy, easy. You will find this. No way. No way, not okay? You will find this very simply in Romans 5, right? So. Romans. Yeah, Romans 5. The same people you have the same thing. No, it didn't. Uh, you can't prove it. So, number one, they have the same thing. Hold on. Yes, you have one question. It's a sort of fact because you can't even show me a single. I'll let you Google for 10 hours. You won't find a single thing that proves it. You just heard it, so you're repeating it. It's wrong. Okay, brother, brother, I will give you 10 hours. In fact, I'm, I'm here every week. I would Why like you to Jesus come back next come week and, and show me one piece of evidence that question. showcases that Romans change Christianity. You, you can't prove that, no, so stop saying it like it's a fact let's because it's incorrect. Now, when you mentioned about the idea of why does God have to come back for your sins, it's very simple. It's in Romans 5, verse 12. You can go read it if you want to, verse 12 to 19. Here's a general idea. Through the, the sin of Adam, who is, is our, our progenitor of the, of the human nature, all of us now inherit a corrupted human nature, unfortunately by birth. You can see this in kids. Kids, for example, are very selfish. They're very unkind. They even take pleasure sometimes in people's pain, right? And what we do is we discipline those, those uh, uh, natures out of them as they get older. Because we can understand that if you allow a child to live that way until it grows up, it will be a non-virtuous child, okay? So we can see it in, in, in that. Now, what we should be is what God made us to be in the first place with Adam and Eve, aka perfect for our nature. Can I ask one question? Now, Can I ask one wait, I'm still explaining it. We have fallen from our perfect nature and we have to climb back up. And we can't do that on our own. We need divine help. So, God has to come back and now rectify, literally change the flipping on, on his head what Adam did. Yes, by dying, conquering God has to death. Die for you Listen very carefully. By dying, conquering death, and becoming a bridge between us and the Father. So yes, that's why. God has to die for now, you and me brother, to Brother, I want you to I'm repeat to me what I said. No, 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 no. Brother, no, no, repeat what no, I said. No, no, I don't need to repeat what you said. Repeat it, please. Because it logically doesn't okay. make sense. Which, you're telling me okay, for brother, me to climb up which the ladder again, leg of I'm logic is it failing? Which one? Okay. Which one? Okay. If you let me finish, I'll go ahead and tell me the leg of logic that the incarnation and our salvation finish? fails. Are you going to let me finish? Or? The floor right. is yours. What I'm asking is a very simple question. If God is the all powerful, the all creator, the all merciful, the all everything, He has to come down from, from the seven heavens, He has to come down and then die for my sins. That to you makes sense. So my son, for example, let's say I had a son. I did a crime, but he has to die for it. How does that make sense? That's what I'm asking. That's a fallacy, because that's, that's not what, what we believe. That's exactly what you said. That's you not said what I said. Jesus is the son of God. He was brought down to the earth. He died for our sins. Is that not in Okay, so you, yes or no, you've summarized true? what I yes said, no, but you missed all the important detail. No, that's AKA, the most important detail. you weren't listening. That's the most okay, important Okay, homeboy, detail. you're going to have to keep quiet now. No, Homeboy, you're you have to keep quiet. No, no, but you're not because you're too. wrong. But you're not right? Because you're not listening. No, because you speak and I let you speak. Number one, you're brother. Not you too. What happens you're is not through the sin of Adam, our human nature is corrupted. Please repeat that. 
Who is the son of Adam? The oh, sin. human nature. The sin of Adam. No. Yeah, that's what I said. You said son. That's not what I said. Repeat it again, please. I said, the th you said, this is what you said, through the sin of Adam, the human nature is corrupted. Awesome. Is that what you know? Now, you can see this even in children. You have not answered my question, bro. Who are selfish, non-caring, and even take pleasure sometimes in you people's dismay question, and pain. Repeat that, please. No, this isn't a lesson. Repeat that, please. This is a lesson. It is a lesson. This isn't a Repeat school. that, please. It's a very simple question. I am taking you Why through did, the Kiss to Nakita 101. God is the all-powerful? Brother, repeat the next sentence, please. The Prophet of Allah, in your has to die for us. That's all I'm asking. Brother, repeat the next sentence, please. Brother, you can see it in children. Game. We are, because you can question. understand it. Understand and not, it. not to you mention, it to in me. your tradition, you, you believe in repeating Quran verses over and over again, so they sing it to your head. So I, I want you book, to repeat it over and over again until you understand the incarnation and our road to salvation. Brother, repeat the second part, please. He believes that Jesus is I am waiting for you to repeat the second part. Why does Jesus have to die for our I told you the whole story and powerful, you still don't understand it because anything, you don't want to listen. So brother, I Can want you Allah, to repeat what I said. Us, we well, that would mean that Allah is not just, right? And that's what sucks about Allah. No, you're saying Allah Come is back not, in here. No, so, what you're saying is second that Allah part, is unjust. Repeat this no, to me. I said to you, homeboy, come back. Come back. I said to you, you can see the corruption in human nature even in children. Repeat that, please. I'm, we're not gonna play this repeat it, please. We're not playing this repeat game. You don't I'll have you basic comprehension, question. so how can I talk to you and help you understand it you if you won't allow me from to even religion, say something you to you and you withhold or, or retain, you sorry, question. that information? Why does Jesus You can have to come die and speak to me because you have to. Well, I answered it, but he wasn't listening. I have the issue. No worries. Come in, come in. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So, number one. We Allah human beings have a human nature that is unfortunately, we human beings have a corrupted human nature. This happened to us because of the negligence of Adam and Eve. Right? Why does his now, sin link back to us? Because we, we he, he is our progenitor, right? So he is the first man and, and Eve is the first woman. So because we come directly from them, we share in their human nature and in their corruption as well. Right? In the same way that you have two arms because Adam had two arms and you have two legs because Adam had two legs because Adam sinned and had his nature corrupted, yours is corrupted as well. Now, how can we prove this? You can see it even in children. Children are inclined to do behaviors that are non-virtuous. They don't care about other people, like for example, their parents. They are naturally selfish and sometimes they even take pleasure in the pain of others. How many times have you seen a baby slap someone and start laughing at it? Right? No, but understand, why are they inclined to that kind of behavior and not inclined to the other kind where they're very caring, very compassionate, very selfless? Instead, we have to train them to adopt those those capabilities yeah, and not the other. If you leave them to their own devices, to then they grow process. up to become very non-virtuous human beings. So naturally, without us you know, like uh, training ourselves and improving ourselves, we tend to go towards non-virtuous action. And that is a, a problem with our very nature itself. Now, where does Jesus fit into this? Because of, because of the fact that naturally we incline towards a negative nature. We have to be perfect first before we can go to God. Somebody now, if the majority of us never incline to perfecting our nature, then the majority of us will go to hell. But God doesn't want that. God would rather have it that as many people as possible came to Him. So as a result, He then realizing the um, the failings of human nature sends his only son to rectify the things that Adam had did wrong so everything Adam did wrong Christ does the opposite and through dying on the cross he rectifies our relationship with the father also defeats death to show us what we will experience in the resurrection and simultaneously rectify what Adam had done. Adam doomed us and Christ has saved us. Adam was a man, Christ comes as a man. 
Adam wasn't perfect in his conduct, but Christ was. So Christ is literally fixing everything that Adam did wrong because no mere man could do it but God coming down as a man. And then dying. That's why. And then dying. I'm asking super Dying look, and resurrecting. Being, look, look, so wait, look, wait. Look, look, Brother, look. is there anything I said there that A was completely inconsistent or sounded insane? I understand you might not hold the same view. The but was there anything I said know, wrong? You know, I wanted to mention, yep. you know, there's not even firstly with the crucifixion, sure. there's not there's no specific eyewitnesses. There is, there's no, John, there John, John, all of them ran away. John didn't run away. No, no, he did. Um, Christ, no, no Christ, is talking, Christ is talking to John at, at the cross, telling him to take care of his mother. So no, they don't run away. What, 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 but wait, wait, before you do, brother, what I said, what I said, was any of it crazy? Uh, what I said. Well, First, I, I don't, don't want to believe in the crucifixion. Secondly, that's fine. Let, let's theologically, that. theologically, it, like anything I said in terms of uh, making sense was any of it crazy. It, yes, so much yes. Make sense. So because without, I do it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm good. What are you going back to? Big apple. At some point. At some point. Yeah. <laughs> so without, because we all incline to a negative nature, how do we ever fix that for as many people as possible? And we say that we need divine help, which is where Christ comes in. Rectifying all the things that Adam did wrong. Okay, can and, I ask and, 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 uh, it for you. Through the death and resurrection, he shows us what we are going to experience too. We are also going to die, and we are also going to be resurrected. But those who die in his name will not be cast into the fire. We will go and be with God. Can I ask you a question now, please? Is it all right if I ask my question? Because you've spoken for a long time. You heard it for a long time. Are you going to let me speak? No. You better have heard what I said. Because if you ask a question that goes against what I said, then you didn't hear me. I have to repeat it all over again for you, okay? Don't worry. Are you, you going to let me finish what I'm saying? That's all I'm you better ask a good question. See what I'm putting there. See what I'm for, for example, he asked a good question. So be like him, ask a good question. You it better be a, no, no, no. I want simple. I want a good, detailed question. Exactly. This is a good, detailed question. Okay. Oh, you have no, to let no, me not a simple one. You have to let me let finish. finish. You have to let me finish. Okay. But in his theology, God has a son. That's Isa. In, in Islam, that's Isa. We believe him to be a prophet. I ask him a very simple question. If Allah is the all-powerful, the true being, the all-merciful, the all-great, why does a human being, why does he have to... you become a Muslim, like, you stop being a Christian, yeah? Why no. does his son, why does his son have to come down and then die for my sins? That's equal to, that's equal to, you have a brother, right? Imagine you did a crime, but your brother goes jail for it. Is that fair to you, bro? Your brother did a crime, two said that's mostly what not, but... Your brother has to die. Please answer him for me if you don't mind. I just can't understand that logic. I can't. No, I agree with him. Answer him for me. I agree with him. But I told you already what the answer was. No, but your answer, answer doesn't make sense. That's what I'm telling you. You need to explain why it doesn't because you can't do that. No, but because of all you're telling me, all you're running so up to if it, is if it that Adam made make a sense. I'm going to watch the rest on YouTube. I no worries, brother. Have fun, yeah? Brother, no it was worries. nice speaking to you. Oh, you're done already? No, 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 because you couldn't answer the question. I you asked the question for you five times. So and every, I can, but I, I would like you to stay here, please, no, until you go. Yeah, because of you. No, it's not because, because you. you're, you're the one. Okay, fine. C come then. Here. Come get the handshake. All right. Well, people, you can talk to a freak as long as you want. But they don't want to understand, and they won't understand. They have, for ears, they have ears, but they will not listen. For eyes, they have eyes, but they will not see. The Bible says it in Isaiah, it says it in the Gospel, so it is a case of ways what it is. But ultimately, why has Christ come to die for our sins? To rectify our sins of Adam. They hold it to be true that Adam has done something wrong that Moses is getting at him for in one of the Hadith traditions. Therefore, we understand that um, through Adam, something has gone wrong. And that thing needs fixing for as many of us as possible. That's where Christ comes in. Having to die for our sins, to spiritually atone for the work of Adam, and then, or the bad deeds of Adam, should I say, and then show us the promise of what is to come, aka the, the, the bodily resurrection of a perfect human being. Amen. Anyway, peace out.